why I came forward was not for myself at all. It was because I have six nieces and three nephews and three on the way, and I could not, I did not want this to happen to anybody else. That was 2000 Olympic bronze medalist Jamie Dancher from our interview with three of Larry Nassar's survivors earlier today. The USA team doctor is accused of sexually abusing nearly 300 athletes, his terror impacting more than those he treated. Here is part two of our interview today. What was your family's reaction when they realized what he had been doing to you? My mom was a mess. My sister was mad. She was a gymnast also, and she had had abuse from coaches and that kind of thing, because that's normal in gymnastics. That's the culture of gymnastics, mental abuse, <laughs> physical abuse. Like, we had a coach that threw a hammer at her in the chalk tray. It's like, these things are so normal that adults are mean and abusive. Like, she was just angry that it was another form of abuse. Um, and my mom felt guilty. I think, as most parents do, because she thinks, you know, maybe I should have asked more questions about what was going on when you weren't under my care, you know, and I was sending you on these national team trips. So, I mean, to this day, she feels guilty and she wants to do something about it. And now she's proud that we're standing as adults and making change in not only USA Gymnastics and yeah. amateur sports, but that we passed a bill to make sure that yeah. these children in the future are safe. Which is great. Um, you're all nodding when she's talking about her family. What was your family's, what, how has this been for them? Um, I mean, it's very similar to what Jeanette said. I think they're, they're working through it right now. They feel, my mom was my biggest supporter. She drove me to practice every single day. She worked in, in the, she was a secretary at my gym, the same gym I was at for, from the time I was seven until I was 19 years old. And she, she was 20 feet away from all this abuse. And, and I think she's just confused as to how she didn't realize what was going on. And, um, you know, when something like this happens, it really affects the whole family. And so, we're all working through it. My sister is also angry. She would, we would do anything for each other. And the fact that oh, as all this was going on, she had just left for college as well. And uh, the fact that she was just so out of the loop, I think she, I don't know, everyone feels like they could have done something, but at the same time, they didn't know what was happening. So really, they couldn't. You were all such an example for the whole country to stand up there and to say what you said to Larry. What was that like for you, Jamie? Um, I think it was, in, it was important to see him for me face to face and not because it was about him, mm -hmm. but it was about all of us finally having a voice and I say one strong voice together and I think it was um, a big step in, in our healing process. So Jean Shaheen uh, is launching an investigation of the USOC and USA Gymnastics. Uh, how does it make you feel that now you've spent time on Capitol Hill yesterday, you're in Statuary Hall, everybody is listening to what you are saying because of the bravery of the three of you. Just each one of you, give me your, give me your feeling about that before we finish. I. I definitely know that I have not taken it all in. Um, it's definitely surreal. And it's the only word I can think of it is because people are finally mm -hmm. listening, finally listening. And that's why I want to continue this fight and make sure that, you know, change keeps happening and keeps going in the right direction and just keep the momentum going. Does it help you heal? Absolutely. I think that is the biggest thing. It's when you can help somebody else out and create change. That's, for me, the ultimate healing because it's you're changing people's lives. You're making sure that kids aren't going to go through what you went through. I mean, it, it feels, I feel so proud of the work that we've done. And like Jamie sure. said, it's surreal. You know, we have to pinch ourselves being at, in Washington, D.C. with these senators and you know, they're listening and taking action and wanting to help us. I mean, we've never seen that kind of help or support in our whole careers. 
you know, and to have it be from people that can actually make differences and change the course of history is amazing. It never would have happened if you guys didn't have the strength to stand up and talk about what happened and share it with everybody. Maddie, what do you hope for your future? Um, I hope that this will never happen to any other child again. No child deserves how we were being treated. It's just, it's amazing what's happening. I literally can't, you know, exactly what they said. It's still upsetting to me that this had to happen after 156 women had to testify for it. It should take one. Um, so I'm still a little angry, but I'm also very grateful and very happy that actual laws are being enacted to help change the system. Um, yeah, and, and for the future, it's just like, this just absolutely 150% cannot happen to kids. It, it just can't, it's, it's awful, yeah. Well, you guys are really moving the ball, and I thank you all for talking with me this morning. And I thank you for your bravery. And you really set such a great example for so many women in this country. So I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to meet you all.